Well everyone, I'm well aware I've been gone for a while, and frankly too long with little trace or activity on the channel. But I'm still here and finally have some uh, information for you guys regarding what I've been up to uh, for the past few months. Uh, wait, no, it's been a year. Uh, whoa, <laughs> sorry about that guys. But anyways, I wanted to let you know what is to come in regards to the channel. Uh, frankly, I've been overwhelmingly busy and have had little time to do really anything relating to my passion for aviation on the channel. Uh, unfortunately, due to factors such as rigorous end to the last, last school year, uh, a summer filled with some personal issues and health issues, uh, and a busy summer in general, I was forced away from the passion I love for quite a while. However, I'm happy to say I've been able to put such roadblocks away behind me, and I'm pretty hopeful that with some new plans I have in mind, I will actually come to fruition, and we will get this channel back to where it needs to be which is making great content for both you and I to enjoy together. First off, an update on the new Detroit model airport that I've been working on since, I don't know, it's been a while. Uh, let's just insert here. Uh, as stated in previous videos, dating back all the way to early 2021, I've replaced my previous DTW display with a much larger and more precise airport display, uh, which is currently still in progress. Work has been slow over the last year and a half, however, strides have been made towards completing that project more recently. At this point, the airport layout is about 75 to maybe 80% complete, uh, with the layout finalized, all woodwork complete, and several model aircraft added. Pending endless conditions, please take this with a big grain of salt, considering this is me after all and I've been gone for a year. Uh, I'm looking at a March to April completion timeline, with airport updates soon to follow that. I'm hoping that all the detail and time and procrastination spent on this layout will make for an awesome experience for both me and all of you guys that support me. So in addition to the Detroit project, I hope to resume other supporting airport series in the future, such as my Grand Rapids model airport layout, small airports around Michigan series, and a new project that is still in the works. In order to provide supplemental quality to boost the consistency I'm going to aim for in the future by adding new model airports in intervals in between my main Detroit model airports. As I return to YouTube with content, one of my largest goals is to increase the diversity of aviation content on this channel. I want to have a wide range of content. Boy, was I over in my head as over the next few years a mere 6 out of 70 videos involved real life content as the rest was hoarded with model aircraft centered videos. This is something I want to change. I'm not saying model aircraft content will go away, it certainly won't, but instead produce plane spotting, trip reports, and aviation opinion videos more frequently than I ever have before to offer a better selection to all of you guys, which should be very fun. Uh, this will begin quite quickly as I already have a surplus of several trip reports dating back all the way to June of 2021. Uh, to various places around the U.S., so I hope that you guys will enjoy those as they come out over the next few months. And I have another trip report soon to come. I feel if that anything, this time away has given me time to think about how I can improve the content of the channel and cater better to you guys. I hope that these new projects and objectives make this channel that much better and lead to many more years of happiness and camaraderie around our shared passion of aviation. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you guys real soon in the next one. Bye, guys.